The Lively Pitch is a signature event for us here at Rye Hub during the week of Rhode Island Startup Week. I hope you all have had a chance to enjoy uh, some of the many organizations um, and the events that they brought to the table here for the Rhode Island region here during our famous now going to be uh, annual uh, Rhode Island Startup Week. A lively pitch, we have uh, curated 20 startups here in the region. Uh, that are actually uh, either in the midst of raising or will be raising probably in the next 12 months. So um, we are thrilled that you're here today. My name is Annette Tanti. I am the managing director of Rye Hub. Rye Hub is Rhode Island's innovation hub, and we exist with a mission of enabling companies that have a high potential for scale and growth uh, here in Rhode Island. Uh, I am not just a managing director, I am an entrepreneur. I've been a serial entrepreneur and raised over 30 million myself in venture and angel funding over the years. I've started three companies. So I know exactly what every one of these folks are going through today. And we're very excited to bring you uh, them today. A little bit about Rye Hub. We're going to be two years old in about a week. Uh, we offer a lot of things here for our entrepreneurs, including uh, office space to incubate for six, uh, six months. We offer mentoring support through our venture mentoring service here in uh, Rhode Island. We've actually licensed the MIT uh, version of uh, venture mentoring and we've, we've really been blessed with uh, nearly 80 mentors here that are active um, in Rhode Island. We offer a lot of many, many programs to help entrepreneurs here, including our customer discovery program, we are definitely an on-ramp to our Mass Challenge here, Mass Challenge Rhode Island, which runs within Rye Hub, as well as IBM AlphaZone. Uh, so we help our uh, early stage companies get to the point where they're comfortable uh, with the applications and pitching. Um, we offer a number of uh, other programs like Founders uh, Friday, et cetera. And then we do Startup Week, and we uh, know that one of the most important aspects of what we do is bring our startups, our entrepreneurs, to you, uh, the investors out there. And uh, because of COVID, we recognize we actually have a door open to speak to more investors than just those that are within a 20 to 25 mile, mile range here in Rhode Island. So with that, um, I will let you know that we're going to hear from 20 today. They have three minutes to pitch. They have two slides, basically, a title slides plus two slides. Um, we will um, let you know that there's no Q&A today. Uh, we're going to roll through this pretty quickly. We are recording. And if you happen to have to leave early or miss this, uh, you certainly can um, follow up uh, at any time. About a half hour ago, we sent you a form. We're also going to be putting a link to that form in the chat. That is your ability to actually connect up with these startups. Through that form, you can select one to many, all of them if you like, uh, and uh, RyHub will make sure that we connect you with those founders, with those entrepreneurs. Uh, this is our, our best way of doing this. So again, demo day style pitching here going on. And without further ado, We'll get started here. We're doing this in alphabetical order today, so we're not doing it by vertical. And uh, at any time, if you have any questions, you can please enter them into the chat and our, our team will get to you there. We're not gonna be asking any questions of our, of our entrepreneurs. So first up is Arogami, and we actually have Bradley Adams. Bradley, it's all yours. Awesome, thank you, Annette. Next slide, please. So Aragami is a no-code mobile application platform making the materials that matter mobile. We assist companies in the travel assistance, insurance, and medical benefit sectors to fulfill their duty of care obligation by making their materials accessible on a mobile device. Our no-code approach and proprietary mobile platform automates our partner's fulfillment process and generates a mobile dashboard that customers activate with a scan of a QR code. Our secret is users never have to visit an app store to access our application. Why did we take this route? Well, we did it for two reasons. Traditional mobile apps for our partners result in low engagement and lost transactions, and traditional map, uh, mobile apps are also expensive to build and maintain. Next slide, please. 
This year, our partners trusted Aragami to deliver their materials to over 79,000 users so far. We have active projects with Aetna, Arthur J. Gallagher, Student Health and Special Risk, On Call International, a Tokyo Marine company, and the United Auto Workers Union. The global no-code development platform market is currently valued at almost 13 billion in 2020 and is expected to grow to 65 billion by 2027. And this is only half the story too, because what we're solving is a process par problem. Our partners spend anywhere from five to $10 per customer distributing their materials to them. For example, we have a proposal right now with a dental benefit provider based out of the Midwest who spends a million dollars annually sending direct mail packets to their customer. With our solution, they will be able to cut that budget by 75%. Every company knows they need to deliver their products or services through a mobile-friendly platform. The challenge is whole sectors have been left behind in the mobile-first development movement. Their legacy systems make it difficult for our partners to move as quickly as the upstarts. This is why we focus our development resources on building a no-code platform meant to work with the systems and databases already used by our partners. By using what they already have, we're able to reduce the resources and time needed to deliver this mobile platform to their audience. We're in the beginning stages of putting a round together, and this will be our first round as a company, and are looking for partners in the insurance space. So thank you everyone for your time today. Uh, at the end of the day, Aerogami is making materials that matter mobile. And that's why for our partners, whatever it is, they deliver it with Aerogami. Thank you again, and I'll see you guys after the pitch. Great, thank you, Bradley, that was awesome. Next up, we have Neil Fine from Arctura. Take it away, Neil. All right. Hi, everybody. Neil Fine here, founder and CEO of Arctura. So I'm super excited to be part of the very first Lively Pitch event. Next slide, please. Oh, so sorry. there's been a recent surge in the demand for renewables, and that's been fueling growth, uh, significant growth in the wind energy industry. As this graphic shows here in the United States, the percentage of our grid energy demand that is supplied by wind has nearly quadrupled over the last 10 years alone. And what's more, the experts are telling us that we can expect another additional fourfold increase over the next 10 to 50 years. So this is amazing growth. At Arctura, we develop technologies that will reduce the cost of wind energy while increasing the profits of our customers, the wind farm asset managers, and the wind turbine manufacturers. So this rapid projected growth of the industry provides a large market opportunity for Arctura. Next slide, please. So we're ready to bring two important technologies to market. The first is a technology that will reduce damage caused by lightning. So many wind, many wind farms, lightning is a leading cause of downtime and repairs, uh, costing the industry hundreds of millions of dollars in losses every year. And we have developed a simple, robust, and inexpensive blade coating that enhances the performance of the existing lightning protection systems that are built into most wind turbine blades. So the coating works by modifying the electric field on the surface of the blade to make it more likely that the massive lightning charge will pass safely to ground without damaging the blade. So we're super excited to bring this technology to market and we're in the process of implementing a prototype on two wind farms here in the United States expected to be a $500 million addressable market for retrofit uh, with additional opportunities for new construction and uh, other opportunities outside the wind energy sector. We are also excited to introduce a new wind farm optimization tool that will increase the power output of wind farms by 3% or more. So our unique and patented approach continuously tracks the optimal operating conditions to ensure that the farm is always operating at or near its peak efficiency. For example, the approach we will find the optimal yaw settings to avoid situations like the one shown on the graphic on the right, where the wakes of upstream turbines continuously buffet the turbines that are downwind. So we're now raising capital for a Series A funding round. If you're interested in joining us as an investor or as an employee, Please reach out to me. You can learn more by visiting our website, www.arturawind.com. Thank you very much for your attention. 
Thank you, Neil. That was great. Next up, Peter Haas and Avendly. Hi. So um, who here has heard of the labor shortages that are going on in the U.S.? Well, if you look at what economists are saying, these are not just structural issues. Or these are not just COVID-related issues. They're structural issues. Uh, what is happening is we have people leaving jobs to find better jobs, to find higher paying positions. And ultimately, this is leaving a labor shortage in lower wage jobs in food, beverage, and CPG. Next slide, please. So at Evently, we are building robotics to automate food, beverage, and CPG. Um, we are focused primarily on beverages to start uh, because one, Marriott fired uh, over 50% of their bartenders during the pandemic, and they're having a hard time finding replacements. But two, we are bootstrapping and uh, we currently uh, felt that beverage was the, the lowest lift. So uh, we have a 75,000 square foot manufacturing facility in Providence, Rhode Island, where in 2022, we hope to start making uh, Mixi bots, which are home cocktail machines and commercial cocktail machines for back of bar. Uh, we are hoping to send this to Kickstarter in December through February uh, 2022. Uh, where uh, we hope to raise additional money to be able to continue with our prototypes in grab-and-go retail uh, and other types of vending. Um, we're currently talking to Aramark in food vending systems, uh, Titleist or Kushnik companies, uh, which does golf balls in CPG, and we are also talking to a beverage vendor that will remain unnamed. Next slide, please. My partner has uh, 25 years of, or 20 years of experience in uh, retail display manufacturing. Uh, I have five years of experience in uh, robotics and a bit more in software and artificial intelligence. Um, and in 2022, we're going to be raising a pre-seed pre -seed safe round of 350K. Uh, so if you're interested, please reach out to me, uh, peter at evently.com. Thanks so much. Thank you, Peter. That's awesome. All right. Next up, before we get started with Binsight, I'd like you to know that um, Rhode Island um, has relationships with other countries. One of those countries is Israel. We have a land and expand opportunity where companies, startup companies from other countries will be coming here and actually setting up uh, their US operations in Rhode Island. Binsight is one of those companies they are raising. Um, and so thank you, Gilad. Um, you can get started when you're ready. Hey, nice to meet you. My name is Gilad Mouchaim and I am Binsight CEO. Me and my partner, O Bottle, CTO, are both electrical and computer engineers and have more than eight years of experience in lead tech companies. Next slide, please. We founded Binsight with a mission to make a real disruption. So go back. In the most, in, we were founding Binsight with a, we, me and, uh, sorry. We founded Binside with a mission to make a real disruption in the most neglected sector in the consumption funnel, the sector that includes shopping and household inventory management. This void is makes a huge opportunity to make a real impact to three stakeholders, the consumers, the grocery retailers, and the world. Household inventory management is painful and complex. People spend around 12 hours a month on it. And yet, we are not doing it properly. Half of the food that you buy is wasted, which sums up to around $3,000 a year and has a huge impact on global warming. We understood that the best way to approach it is by using new and advanced technology and data. Next slide, please. So we developed an AI-based system, combined app, and IoT sensors with accurately and seamlessly tracks user consumption behavior. And by using a deep learning 
technology combined with core behavioral tools, we get an accurate data about what you currently have at home, what is about to run out, and what you should buy. And with that unique data that nobody has, we can do so many amazing stuff. Data that nobody has, neither Google, Facebook, nor Amazon. We can do things like automatic purchases and ends with things like personalized recipes recommendations. Where in the bottom lines, we help consumers to save significantly amount of time, money, hustle, and directly reduce waste. Backed by top CPGs and retailers, US consumer survey made by Professor Dana Vielli from Duke, a successful pilot and committed investors who are currently searching for a US investors to finalize our $3 million seed round. I would like to summarize with our vision. Today, whenever people are getting into their car, they think ways. Whenever they are sitting on their couch and watching TV, they think Netflix. But there is no real go-to whenever people are thinking about shopping and household inventory management. We are going to be their go-to whenever they will wonder what they currently have at home, what they can make from it, when and what they should buy, they will think be in sight. Thank you for your time. We'll be happy to meet you in person. Thank you so much. Okay, next up is Kristen Carbone with Brilliantly. Hi, I'm Kristen. I'm the founder of Brilliantly. Thanks so much for being here today. Um, next slide, please. So I started Brilliantly in an effort to solve a problem I was experiencing myself. I lost my mother to metastatic breast cancer in her 40s, and in an effort to avoid the same fate, I had a preventative mastectomy and reconstruction. I was totally unprepared for what it would feel like to live in a body that had been altered in that way. And one of the strange and unexpected outcomes was that I felt cold all the time. When you have implants without breast tissue insulating them and keeping them at body temperature, they act like a heat sink. And for years, I thought I was the only person having that issue. It wasn't until the summer of 2017 when I started talking to hundreds of women in the breast cancer community and found out that 75% of women who've had this experience have, have coldness as a constant and distracting pain point that I decided I was gonna do something about it. I knew right away I didn't wanna make a jacket or a vest or even a bra. I wanted to make something that fit into any bra so women would have the option of wearing whatever clothing choice they wanted and be whatever size they were. I'm so happy to report that after three and a half years of user testing and R&D, we launched Brilliantly Warm, our app-controlled warming wearable, this past June. The amazing thing that happened during our pre-order campaign was that a quarter of our orders were from women outside of the breast cancer community. We've now heard from users who are nursing moms that report it helps with pain and discomfort, and women who are chronically cold in their office or doing activities that they love every day. We're about to start a robust user feedback campaign to understand who's using Brilliantly Warm, how they're using it, when they're using it, and what features we need to change and evolve for our second version that we hope to launch next year. Over the next few months, I'll be raising a seed round, hiring a team, and exploring the extended market opportunity for our patent pending technology. Next slide, please. Brilliantly Warm's technology is applicable in so many other spaces and for many other things. We have opportunities in the femtech space, sports and leisure, and to help with chronic conditions like arthritis. Over the next year, we plan to explore licensing opportunities and how we can reach the extended market while trying to meet the needs of the women in the breast cancer space through some amazing partnerships and collaborations that are coming up right now. And a few, there's two studies happening about the efficacy of this product within the breast cancer space, but also for nursing moms. I would be more than happy to talk to any of you to answer questions and to fill you in on the exciting future for Brilliantly. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you, Kristen. Next up, Melissa Bowling. 
Hello, my name is Melissa Boley, and I'm the CEO and founder of the Flourish Fund. Um, we are the only maternal wellness marketplace that's matching pregnant mothers with the evidence-based services and products that they desperately need. Next slide, please. Every year, there are 4 million babies that are born, which means there's 4 million mothers in the United States that are spending in excess of $15 billion on baby products. And mothers are still struggling to care for themselves as evidenced by that based as evidenced by the one in three women suffering from postpartum depression and anxiety in the US right now, and also the high mortality rate. Um, we have the highest in any industrialized country. And the way that I came across this problem was actually my own experience where I am a biomedical engineer by training. I had prepared, I had researched all the best baby gadgets and things like doula support and pelvic floor physical therapy and all these amazing community resources and services were never, I was never told about them. And when I came into my postpartum period, it was very challenging to recover from childbirth. Um, postpartum depression really hit me very hard. And I realized very quickly that the most impactful things were actually the support and services that I received from my community that were so hard to find. Um, and I'm not alone in this problem. We've talked to over a thousand moms and all of them have told us they don't need more stuff they need help and they wish they had spent more time and money on their own health and well-being. So we're making this a reality. Next slide, please. We are the only platform that puts pregnant women in control of their family's wellness. And we do this in two ways. Number one, we have a marketplace of amazing vetted, vetted professionals um, in the maternal wellness space. So I'm talking about doulas, lactation um, consultants. We have 155 currently in the New England area and we are the largest network out there. We also have amazing wellness products that we sell. We also help moms connect with financial support. So the number one way that moms are spending money today is actually through gifts from their friends and family. And the baby registry is the way that they do that. So we have a baby registry where friends and family can support their um, pregnant you know, family member or friend in the best way possible and giving them a happy, healthy pregnancy. We're also now looking into insurance reimbursement. In Rhode Island, actually, just two months ago, they passed a bill that every woman in Rhode Island will have access to $1,500 in these essential maternal wellness services like doula care. So immediately we were approached by all the healthcare systems in the area and also the insurance companies. So we're working with them right now um, to do partnerships. We've seen amazing traction since we launched launched in May of 2021. We have over a million dollars in GMB in our pipeline um, and over 900 customers on our platform today. So please join us in, in growing this amazing service um, in New England and throughout the rest of the country. We're currently raising our seed round and we would love to hear from you if you're interested. Thank, Thank you. you. Melissa. Thank you. Next up is Ben Sorkin of Flux Marine. Great to see so many familiar faces on here. So I'm Ben and our company is Flux Marine. We build all electric motors for boats. Owning a boat is not like owning a car. They can be expensive and unreliable. Many people know boat to stand for bust out another thousand. The environmental <laughs> impact of gas boats is severely underestimated. Operating a family sized boat for one hour releases the equivalent pollution of driving a car for about 800 miles. Next slide, please. Flux Marine is advancing electric marine technology to deliver the world's best boating experiences. We have enhanced the customer experience. No more winterization, oil changes, or refueling at the dock. The ride is quiet, remarkably smooth, and exhilarating. When you drop the throttle, it will put you back in your seat. Our motor has the acceleration of a gas engine nearly double its power but precision controlled handling at docking speeds. Superior performance, real-time monitoring, connectivity, and low maintenance make it one of the most advanced outboards ever designed. We have built the first marine-specific propulsion technology platform that is scalable to other horsepower segments and compatible with diverse hull designs. Flux Marine sells standalone propulsion systems as well as complete and custom electric boat packages. Additionally, we are developing comprehensive fleet management software, bringing the power of data to an antiquated industry. Next slide, please. 
we have achieved this because we completely redesigned the outboard from the ground up to fully utilize the advantages of electric power. This means we do not use any legacy combustion parts. Our intellectual property is around our battery system, thermal management system, drivetrain, and software algorithms. Through intense prototyping and field testing, we have built a system that eliminates corrosive seawater ingestion, minimizes drag under the water, and increases overall efficiency. We have found early success gathering pre-orders after our unveiling our technology at the Newport International Boat Show, where we were actually fortunate enough to win two new product awards. We continue to add to our customer base and are working to build out a dealer network. We have a passionate team with diverse minds and expertise, including backgrounds from Tesla, SpaceX, and Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute. The company is currently raising a Series A round to fuel this exciting growth. Please join us in our mission to electrify the marine industry. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Next up, GoTef with Sarah Michelle. Hello. American consumers are in the midst of an energy crisis with more than 50% of consumers feeling constantly tired and lacking energy throughout their day. 66% of these consumers demand snacks that provide long lasting energy and nourishment. Unfortunately, the, the market is currently saturated with sugar packed snacks that offer a high and a crash of energy with minimal nutrition. Now, switch stories. Let me take you to the beautiful highlands of Ethiopia, where you can find some of the fastest humans on earth, and the secret to their endurance comes in the form of an ancient grain called teff. Teff is 4,000 years old and the superfood known as the source of energy and nourishment for Ethiopia's record-breaking runners. Who better to teach us about long-lasting energy than some of the best endurance athletes in the world? My name is Saron Machale. I'm a native Ethiopian and grew up eating this amazing grain. After graduating from Brown University in 2019, I've spent the last two years creating the perfect TEF product using an innovative, one-of-a-kind production process. Next slide, please. GoTEF is a delicious snack catering to endurance athletes and health-conscious consumers. Our crisps are crunchy, delicious, and versatile. You can enjoy it as a snack, cereal, or topper for yogurts and salads. And with just five ingredients or less and zero added sugar, each serving of GoTef offers seven grams of protein, seven grams of fiber, and twice the amount of iron as a serving of sirloin steak. All our products are gluten-free, nut-free, vegan, soy-free, which means we can cater to customers with different dietary restrictions. Next slide, please. GoTef is ready to enter the $48 billion snack industry in North America, where the healthy snack market holds $15 billion share. Our crisps are, offer nutrition without compromising taste. And don't just take our word for it. We already have customers who love our products with raving reviews, saying it tastes like cocoa puffs and waffle cones. We launched in January 2021 and have sold over 4,000 bags of GoTef with an 80% conversion rate at retail for anyone who samples our product. We're also using, we're also a social impact brand with a mission to support young female runners in Ethiopia. We've successfully proved the product to market fit for GoTef. Now, after winning the innovation voucher grant for Rhode Island Commerce, we're ready to take this product nationwide with a subscription box and projected revenue of $1.5 million by 2023. Join us in this journey of superfood and super impact. Go long, go strong, go tough. Thank you. Thank you, Saren. Next up, we have Green Choice with Galen Carlin Mason. Galen? Awesome. Thank you. Um, my name is Galen, and I'm the CEO and founder of Green Choice, a grocery search engine and marketplace for conscious consumers with dietary needs. Next slide, please. Thanks to millennials and now Gen Z, conscious consumption, and by that I mean treating purchases as an extension of your values, will redefine industry over the next decade. Over 37 million Gen Z and millennial consumers want to buy the best products for their health and the planet. 
yet they'll spend over $100 billion on groceries this year without any easy way to know which products best match their needs, health goals, and values. With 15,000 new food products launching in the U.S. every year, there's never been more great options out there for us. But it's also never been harder to choose. Thousands of products in every category, abundant health washing and green washing, and limited time and attention make it very hard for consumers with dietary needs to grocery shop. And this isn't just an issue for shoppers. This is an issue for the thousands of emerging brands that are trying to connect with conscious Gen Z and millennial shoppers. Next slide, please. Green Choice makes it easy for consumers to discover and buy the best products for their health and the planet. Using natural language processing and 100 plus evidence-based data sources, we've evaluated the health and climate impacts of over 360,000 food and beverage products. Analyzing everything from the presence of toxic additives to the risk of exposure to pesticide residues to the product's estimated carbon footprint. We use this data to filter through thousands of options and build your personal grocery aisle based on your particular dietary preferences and values with every product accompanied by our green score, a proprietary, easy to understand health and climate impact rating. 40,000 Gen Z and millennial shoppers visit our site every month to find the best products for their health and the planet. And we have over 20,000 monthly active users in the US growing organically 20% month over month. We rank top 10 on Google for more than 4,000 high purchase intent keywords, like nut free protein bars and healthiest organic juice. And you can search those if you don't believe me. And over half of our visitors want to purchase products from us. Soon, you'll be able to order from Green Choice with free two to five day shipping. And when you do, we will offset the carbon footprint of your entire cart. We just signed a partnership with the second largest natural products wholesaler in the US who will white label drop ship product on our behalf. And every day we receive applications from emerging D 2 C food and beverage brands who want to sell on our platform. We'll net 15% on orders fulfilled by our wholesale partners, and we have a take rate of 15 to 20% from brands who sell directly through our platform. Between our team of six, we have a PhD in machine learning, an MBA in sustainability, a BS in dietetics, and a UX UI designer, and two talented engineers. We've raised half a million dollars to date. We're backed by Catapult Accelerator, Bond Billow Ventures, the former EVP of Stop and Shop, and other notable domain experts. And we're now raising to launch our full marketplace and achieve over $200,000 in monthly sales within the next 12 months. Reach out if you're interested in learning more about how we're building Gen Z and Millennials Trusted Companion for Conscious Shopping. Thanks. Thank you, Galen. Next up, Robbie Felton of Intus Care. Hello, everyone. I am Robbie Felton, um, co-founder and CEO at Intus Care. Thank you so much for having us. Um, at Intus Care, really, we are uh, becoming a single data platform for Medicare and Medicaid integrated providers. Next slide, please. <clears throat> so what we've seen is that CMS is really focused on uh, creating financially aligned uh, incentive structures for geriatric care as the population rapidly ages. So they're looking at value-based models of care and, and programs. And that's where, really where we fit in. So as these programs are springing up, they're scrambling to find data solutions and software resources to fit their needs. So these organizations that are typically home and community-based might be using a pharmacy-focused electronic health record, um, a payment system that's built for nursing homes and skilled nursing, um, a care coordination and scheduling software that's fit for home health. And there's really nothing within the market that, that fits their needs. And that's to the detriment of the patients that they're caring for. And it's um, a real inhibitor on efficiency and optimizing care outcomes for the providers. So what we've done is worked with these plans and these organizations to integrate their data sources and present them their data in a way that's insightful and useful for them to become quality and data focused. And we realize that there's a lot of opportunity for improving care outcomes by using data, letting these providers holistically see their geriatric 
um, elderly, very complex patients who are, in addition, very high cost. So just allowing them to become data-driven in their approach has been very useful for them. So we launched at 10 plans in the past 12 months, um, this sort of integrated data solution. And next slide, please. We saw stunning results. After three months, one of our facilities had zero hospitalizations in their high-risk patients. Um, and they're starting to think about their patients in a different way. Okay, how can they can... Uh, how can they identify risks within their populations? How can they start to see who's going to the hospital, who has chronic uh, potential for chronic disease onset? How can they prevent infections? Um, and it's been very fruitful for these provider groups. And now we're really looking to scale. So we signed a sales partnership with a major healthcare provider with uh, expand through their customer base. Um, and we're really excited about that. Um, we're looking to expand what we're doing um, past just quality data into care management, into value-based payments. And uh, right now we are just looking for people who are interested in helping us um, hire. Um, so we're looking to expand our team, more software engineers, more data scientists. So please feel free to reach out if you have networks of people who are interested in helping build in this elderly and geriatric care space. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Robbie. Next up, we have Ian Owen from Gyro Robotics. Take it away, Ian. Thanks, Annette. Uh, hi, my name is Ian Estevan Owen. Uh, I'm the co-founder of Gyro Robotics. We're a small Rhode Island-based business specialized in providing customers with aquatic data collection systems for commercial, government, and research use. Uh, next slide, please. I'd like to answer the four questions in this slide as one of our focus areas is to provide data that can help better inform us about the rate of climate change. The UN has issued a code red for humanity and the US ranks climate change as one of the top four risks to our national security. I think that answers question one pretty well. Water plays a huge part in climate change. That includes our ice caps and glaciers, which are melting at unprecedented rates, our lakes, rivers, marshlands, uh, and the ocean. As the ocean state, Rhode Island is a challenge that is going to impact us in more ways than most. Gyrobotics cannot stop climate change. But what our systems can do is collect aquatic data at scale in a way others are not. Our system, our robots, are smaller, faster, more affordable and more versatile than all other solutions. Globally, government, commercial and research institutions are all receiving more and more funding to improve their understanding of what climate change means and what we can do to manage its impacts. Is data worth anything? By 2028, global environmental monitoring market is gonna be around $26 billion. Water quality monitoring market is gonna be around $4 billion. Based on our bottoms-up assessment, using customer inputs and their budgets to meet new demands and the increasing emphasis on forecasting the impacts of climate change, Gyro Robotics is a revenue forecast by 2026 of $100 million. Next slide, please. Meet the Gyrobot. This is a super cool, micro-sized aquatic robot that will change the paradigm of the data, uh, aquatic data collection. It provides eye-watering reductions in capital and operating expenses of up to eight times, and they are typically 16 times faster than other systems in the way that they collect their data. Gyrobots can be deployed in parts of one to 20 vehicles to autonomously collect data at scale over wide areas where conventional robots just can't go, all controlled by a single user. Gyrobots really are microsized. You can see that in the top right-hand picture. And they're way more user-friendly than the larger form factor robots that are used for underwater uh, research. We call the Gyrobot the Swiss Army knife of data collection because of its wide-ranging uses in oceans, estuaries, rivers, lakes, etc., and due to its micro size, its speed, and its ultra portability. Underpinning this novel hardware design is true open source software that has enabled us to go from a development start in March to a prototype being launched in uh, September, just six months. We look for seed funding. If you're interested in joining an awesome investment opportunity, happy to answer any questions. Thank you.
Thank you, Ian. Next up, Dan Riley of Legal Bleed. Thanks, Annette. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Dan Riley. I am the co-founder and CEO of Legably. Uh, we are the platform that connects lawyers with other attorneys and legal professionals to find work and grow their practice. Next slide, please. So currently we have over 4,500 attorneys on our platform representing over 67 legal practice areas and coming from all 50 states. Lawyers use Legably for three principal purposes. The first is to find work using our freelance marketplace, as well as to look for full and part-time jobs. They also use Legably to hire other lawyers when they need to quickly scale their practice or tackle a specialized matter on behalf of their clients that they otherwise wouldn't be able to do. And lastly, lawyers use Legably to communicate with each other using our forum. They can ask questions and post answers, provide practice help and tips, as well as offer client referrals and seek out new work from other lawyers. We're the only freelance legal marketplace that charges job posters on a flat subscription basis. And we're also the only marketplace that's integrated with a message board network that collects data on our users who are performing this work so we can collect that on their expertise and rank them accordingly in our work marketplace. Next slide, please. Moving forward, our plan is to become the stack overflow or doximity, if you will, for lawyers. Now, what does that mean? That means we're harnessing all of the data that we're collecting from our lawyers who are interacting with each other, whether they're hiring each other for freelance projects or jobs or simply interacting on the forum and ranking their posts and answers. We'll integrate that data into our marketplace for lawyers looking for work and looking to hire and continue to grow our hiring solutions business, which is monetizing our platforms for law firms, legal staffing firms, in-house legal departments, and others who are looking to hire lawyers. To date, we've raised angel funding. We are generating revenue. And we have a commitment from a new investor to kickstart our seed round, which we are currently raising. Love to talk offline with anyone who'd be interested in helping us. Again, I'm Dan Riley, the co-founder and CEO of Legably. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Next up, we have Brad Artery from Mockingbird. Thank you, Annette. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Brad Artery, privileged to be the CEO of Mockingbird. Next slide, please. Did you know the average clinician only spends 30% of their day seeing patients with the remaining 70% wasted on administrative tasks? Did you know to practice medicine or telemedicine, clinicians must have a state license in every state in which their patients reside? That means if they wanna see patients via telemedicine in the Eastern time zone, they need 23 state licenses all of which have different requirements on different timelines. And did you know that if a hospital has a single clinician, nurse through physician, practicing out of compliance, that hospital will be fined, will have revenue clawed back from insurance providers, and uh, reputation risk ensues. Fortunate for clinicians and their employers, there is Mockingbird. At Mockingbird, our vision is to free clinicians to focus on what really matters. Mockingbird is able to save clinicians 50% of their time by automating all of those detailed requirements, by providing the organization with a real-time view across the clinical staff to effectively manage compliance risk, by sending automated reminders to keep clinicians ahead of upcoming tasks, and by curating educational content. The primary task to keep a license is con uh, consuming continuous medical education and Mockingbird feeds that clinician uh, content that has been curated to their unique needs. We are a first to market platform offering this detailed automation, disrupting the paper and spreadsheets in use today. Next slide, please. Our business model is a simple subscription model targeting clinician employers. Our target market is the 10 million plus healthcare clinicians in the US, representing a $7.5 billion revenue opportunity. We went to market a year ago in Q4 of 2020, 
and currently have recurring monthly revenue with over a thousand paying users and 5,000 users in the final stages of piloting. I'm happy to say our first enterprise uh, client from a year ago just renewed and our two most recent enterprise customers, both organic leads closed in less than five weeks, representing a shortening sales cycle. As you can see on the page, the growth of closed deals and down funnel clients is exciting. And I've highlighted a few sample logos of representative customers and partners. And our organic marketing efforts continue to feed the funnel every day. We are within six months of a Series A funding round and are seeking partners to help accelerate the growth of our product-led company, ultimately aiming to give healthcare providers the time back they so desperately need to focus on patient care. We are Mockingbird. Thank you. Thank you, Brad. Next up, we have Toye Anakoye with News Interactive. Picture this. You're trying to get your child ready while also entertaining them so they can sit still, or you're trying to do your makeup in here today while watching a makeup tutorial to get it right and looking at yourself, or you need suggestions on what to wear in correlation to the weather. Next slide. Introducing the Muse Mirror, a product by Muse Interactive that allows the user to multitask, entertain, and follow routines from professionals on demand and live that will help with their skincare, cosmetic care, time management, and more. I created the product first as an anniversary gift to my girlfriend that went viral pushing me to make this an official product. Next slide. The mirror is a product that is used daily in our home, but it's one of the only products that has not been adapted into the smart home lifestyle. The Muse Mirror is that solution and optimizes the way we already use the mirror to help people save time and provide data to users at home, doctors, and companies that sell cosmetic products. According to Satista, the smart home U.S. market is $39 billion, and the cosmetic U.S. market is $95 billion. We are exploring a subscription model where we are creating a Peloton-like marketplace of content where people will be able to subscribe to help with their daily routines and try on different products virtually with our AR try-on technology and purchase these products all from the mirror, tapping into the service and retail corner of the cosmetic market, allowing cosmetic artists and dermatologists to have access to clients outside of their direct content and cosmetic companies more data from users at home. We are patent pending and in the final stages of manufacturing. We are looking to raise to complete our minimum quantity product amount for manufacturing and marketing. With our launching a campaign early next year where we are looking to sell north of 500 units based on the number of reservations we currently have. My name is Toyo Nikoi, co-founder of Muse Interactive. I have five years experience of creating VR and other interactive experiences for the Navy. So mirror, mirror on the wall, make room because we're replacing you with the Muse mirror. Thank you for your time, looking to talk more. Thank you, thank you, Toye. Next up, we have Monica Orakova from Nayoris. And I just wanna say that uh, Nayoris is also a company uh, that comes out of Europe who has off also um, recently said they are going to be coming to Rhode Island to set up their subsidiary for the United States here in Rhode Island. So take it away, Monica. Hi, guys. Thank you, Annette. So I'm not sharing my video as I'm currently in South Korea in this 3 a.m. here. But let me talk to you about uh, cybersecurity. We know that the world has changed so much. Our clients have moved from one single data location, data center location to multiple branches, having a lot of devices and IoT employees joining their networks from homes or coffee places, which means a few things in cyber. Additional entry points for the hackers, more vulnerabilities, and uh, we are fighting exactly these problems at Nauris. Next slide, please. Um, 
the company was created nearly four years ago with the help of former chief of cyber intelligence of NATO, who said that we don't need to play a better game against hackers, but a different game. Next slide, please. So at NARIS, we provide additional security layer based on a decentralized ledger technology protecting these distributed networks where we connect all of these devices together on a blockchain and every single device is securing the other. With NARIS blockchain, the more devices you connect and the faster and complex you are, the more secure you become. We just completed our seed round with a top tier VC from Silicon Valley. And we have very unique opportunity right now where we are connecting the blockchain crypto investors, enterprises and banks together. And currently we are doing a token sales where we have committed close to $9 million with very unique crypto token assurance of backing the price of the token up to 90%. And we have a few spots left in our private pre-sales. So if you guys want to move into this very unique, exciting token and blockchain space, please talk to me. I will be happy to tell more. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you, Monica. Next up, Adam Alpert from Pangea App. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining today. And Nat, can you go to the next slide, please? Pangea.app is a platform for college freelancers. College students today are the freelancers of tomorrow. By 2025, more than 25% of the workforce will be Gen Z. And they are freelancing, adopting freelancing faster than any other generation in history. We make it easy for them to find and manage part-time work. Oh, my camera's off. <laughs> we make it easy for them to find and manage part-time work, doing things such as marketing, design, and business development, while companies get to build lasting relationships with emerging talent. With more than 16 million students currently working part-time in the U.S. and a need for talent that outstrips supply, this is a $20 billion opportunity for us. Next slide, please. Since last July, students have set up more than 1,000 contracts with clients on our platform and sent more than 3,000 invoices using our time tracking system. They have collectively billed clients more than $700,000 on our platform with an average hourly wage of more than $23 an hour, much more than they'd be making working your typical on-campus job. We collect a fee on every invoice that is paid on our platform and help with 1099 tax filings. Our top earning Pangean made nearly $25,000 last year. And we have several who are continuing to use Pangea even after they graduate, with one recent grad currently earning more than $4,000 a month on our platform. We graduated from Y Combinator in March and have raised more than $3 million in funding so far. Our team of seven includes grads from Brown, RISD, Penn, and Bryant, who are all committed to supporting the next generation throughout their freelance careers. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. Next up, Maggie Bakkenberg from Points. Hi, everyone. My name is Maggie. I'm one of the co-founders of Points. We're a mapping app for micromobility riders. So that means bikes and scooters. Next slide, please. So riding bikes, scooters, and other micromobility vehicles through American cities can be really dangerous, and not only for the person on the vehicle, but also for people in cars driving next to them. It can be a scary experience. Uh, there are over 110 million riders in the U.S. who, who use micromobility annually, annually, and about half of those people uh, use it on a regular basis. We interviewed hundreds of riders themselves and industry experts, and we learned that safety is the biggest fear 
um, of these riders. And so we created a solution, uh, which you can think of as ways for micromobility. And the way that it works is we, ra- or is we rate every road in a city on a one through five bike friendliness scale. And then our routing algorithm favors the more bike friendly roads. Um, and people can crowdsource information for us uh, to help improve the routing as um, as we go on. And they can give us details, as you can see on the right-hand side of the screen. Next slide, please. In terms of some milestones that we've hit, we have our beta app out on iOS and Android. And we have a couple hundred riders from across the U.S., and we have about 110 cities and towns routed throughout the country. Um, in November, we're planning on opening up the app publicly on the App Store, so it'll be available for anyone to download. And then next year, we'll be working on completing our premium features. We also have been featured in the Boston Globe and Bloomberg, and we're part of the Mass Challenge cohort this year. And we also uh, received a pre-seed investment from Rogue Venture Partners last month, and we'll be opening up our seed round next spring. So I'd love to connect with any of you around that. Thank you, Maggie. Okay, next up, we have Dana Paul from Ritual Motion. Dana, are you there? Oh, hey, everybody. Thank you, everyone, and and welcome of the fellow entrepreneurs and everyone that is part of this. But today, I am so excited to talk about the fastest growing economy since the gig economy, and that is the creator economy. Uh, The creator economy economy is growing at a similar rate of $400 billion of that of the gig economy. And what's really driving that is gamers and creators are playing a huge part of that. Ritual Motion is quickly becoming the fastest growing segment of that creator economy. Ritual Motion is the most active and preferred digital space where millions of gamers create, collaborate, and share in a meaningful way where content for a stronger and more united community. Next slide. So let's talk about reasons why to invest and and talk about this booming industry. So the gaming industry is projected to be $65 billion this year, and there's about 2.7 billion gamers globally. This year alone, the gaming industry is larger than the professional sports and entertainment industry combined. And they're projecting that in 2025, the industry will be as large as $265 billion, which is amazing, right? Besides the industry growing at this rate, the other thing that's been so important is the fact, the experience that Ritual Motion's team brings. So myself as a co-founder and my other co-founder, Bill Caesar, have both been fortunate in being part of exiting with unicorns. We have an amazing executive team that understands content and content creation, but are so also incredibly entrenched in with being in the endemic space of gaming and in gamers. We have had rapid growth since we've started. Ritual Motion has a mass um, audience of 300 million reach and engagement since the company has started. So when we talk about all these things, you may say, well, what's the problem? Well, the problem is right now that gamers are looking for a more meaningful way to connect and to build relationships with their communities. Creators and gaming communities are looking for quality discoverability and to have a greater experience with their community and also with the industry. Next slide, please. Enter Ritual Motion Guild. Guild is gamers united in live discussion. This is where we allow creators and gamers to come on a peer-to-peer network with the opportunity to create, collaborate, and share all around what's good for gamers. We looked at some of the top folks in the industry like Twitch, Clubhouse, and TED Talks, and we realized they were missing a huge part of that, and that is that hyperactive connectivity that you can get with your community. We're so excited because just in the 100 days that we've launched the Guild, we have already registered more than 2,500 members and have over a half a million minutes of video content. 
So I'm looking forward to having all of you folks come join and help us create, collaborate, and share in this massive community. Thank you, Dana. Next up, William Gasper of Stack Influence. Hi, everyone. My name is William Gasner, and I'm the co-founder and CMO of Stack Influence. We're a marketplace platform providing scalable collaborations between brands and consumer influencers. Next slide, please. To give you a little backstory, my co-founders and I have been e-commerce sellers for the past decade. And through all of our ventures, we struggled with generating product awareness, getting authentic branded content, and competing on online marketplaces like amazon.com. And there are 12 million other sellers in the exact same boat. We decided to solve our own problems by developing Stack Influence and tapping into consumer influencers. So now you may be asking, what exactly is a consumer influencer? Well, this new type of influencer is an everyday social media user who's willing to promote a brand in exchange for only a product without any monetary compensation. Thus, they're a real consumer of a brand. They're twice as trusted when recommending products compared to online ads. They generate 3.2 times more conversions than larger social media users. And they save brands $10 for every 1,000 followers an influencer has. Our marketplace platform matches brands with consumer influencers. It manages collaborations from A to Z. It generates brand awareness and authentic image and video content. And unlike any other influencer platform, our unique process helps Amazon sellers reach first page ranking for high volume targeted keywords. 95% of e-commerce products fail each year and we're changing that paradigm. Next slide, please. Our business model is to simply charge brands a flat fee for every successful social promotion that they receive from our campaigns. On average, our fee is $23, and to date, we've completed over 50,000 influencer collaborations. Last year, we grew by 400%. We accumulated and analyzed with AI, one of the largest databases of social media consumer influencers in the world. And we reached 1.1 million in Marketplace GMV, which we're on track to double this year. We believe there's $11 billion opportunity for our business within the US alone. After being bootstrapped for the past few years, we're now raising a seed investment to grow our engineering and sales team and increase our marketing initiatives. And we have currently secured Collab Capital, who is founded by an Amazon executive, as the lead for our round. Our vision is to build a world where online brands and everyday people can exchange value and creativity without barriers. Thank you. Thank you so much, William. Next up, Lindsay Kuhn of Wingspans. Good afternoon. I'm Lindsay Kuhn, the founder of Wingspans, which is a web-based platform that helps students learn about work through rich personal stories. Next slide, please. When people end up in jobs that aren't the right fit, they're unhappy, they have less impact on the economy, and overall, they don't benefit or contribute to life as much. But imagine a different world where students end up in a career where they find meaning and purpose at work. In addition to a more fulfilled society, this would have implications on the business models of company, companies and post-secondary schools where students currently struggle to see a clear path to a future, contributing to record low retention rates. Next slide, please. Wingspans is an immersive web-based career platform on a mission to help students find a career they love, help schools improve retention rates, and help companies fill their pipeline with diverse candidates. It has 700 in-depth career stories, including many documentaries, that make work come alive. Research has shown that access to career education increases retention rates at community colleges by removing motivational barriers. And when the approach to career discovery uses the power of storytelling, our special sauce, the outcomes are expected to be even better. We have two customer segments, schools and companies. Schools purchase the platform on a per student basis to help their students find a meaningful path and increase retention rates. Companies come to us for our storytelling expertise and to get access to students coming to our platform. 
they know that in order to create a more diverse workplace, they need to start early. With career fit coming to the forefront and the number of companies needing to tap into a workforce that align with their diversity and inclusion goals, this is a $3 billion opportunity. This, since this summer, we signed up 10 paying customers, including the National Peace Corps Association and a handful of schools in Rhode Island. We generated three, um, 30K in revenue. This fall, 100,000 students are using the platform with the number expected to grow to 250,000 by the end of 2021. And we also have a few company partnerships in the pipeline, including CVS. Our team of journalists, filmmakers, educators, and engineers are all incredibly mission focused. We're about to raise a pre-seed round of funding to build an assessment and add someone to the team who has sales experience in ed tech and would love to connect. Thank you. Thank you, Lindsay. And that concludes our program for today. I wanna to welcome everybody to take a look at the chat. There is a form uh, there, and we'll also be emailing you after this session again to make sure uh, you have access to our form. Anyone you want to talk to, could be all of them, uh, please let us know, and we'll make sure that the message gets there to them over the next few days. We want to thank especially our entrepreneurs. You all rocked it. You hit it out of the park. Thank you again uh, for being here today. and. Uh, Please join us for the rest of our sessions coming up in the next 24 hours uh, during, uh, during Rhode Island Startup Week. And join us in Newport tomorrow. Thank you all.